All right, so we're gonna do a Q and A today. Yep. Are you seriously wearing that? Wearing what? Out of all the shirts you have, you put on an army shirt. First of all, it's camo. It's not an army. What are you shirt. trying to camouflage into the grass or something? Yeah, I'm not taking off. my shirt off. It's cold out. Let's just do it without a shirt, shall we? Here you go. Now, what's what's the shirtless look like? <laughs> it looks better, Justin. Saba.ghoul. What do you tell yourself to go work out? I guess what's your motivation? Yeah, so I think like just getting up and getting after it knowing that no matter how much time you put in the gym that day, it's always a progression. Okay, my motivation is just wanting to be healthier after my pregnancy and just wanting a body that I'm super happy with. I feel like I had finally reached a goal weight before my pregnancy and then after oh. gained it all back. Now I feel like I'm Finally, like, really happy with where my body is. Me Next see. question. Your okay, pet peeves on. about the other. Oh, where do I begin? The way he tells me to eat. Like, when you're like, I, I can't I can't chew my food around First of him, all, or else I don't tell you. No, 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 no. She has the mic. Keep yeah. going. Or we need a hat. This is, this is counseling. Here, basically. here, you got the hat. The right. talking hat. When I chew my food, I can't chew too loud because he will freaking lose his mind. Um, another one is, I actually don't really. Oh, cat cut your tongue? I have the cat. Oh, uh, he kind of, um, he keeps things bottled up. So he just bottles them up and doesn't express himself. And then he'll just be like, <laughs> and then walk away and just not talk about it. Um, three is like, he doesn't like listening to others. He likes the mic always to be on him and him talk. And then when others are talking, as you can see, he doesn't care to listen. What else? We'll just keep it to three. Three, because we'll be here all night. Thank you for my hat. <clears throat> three things. I'm going to start off by saying, she can eat pudding, and it sounds like she's chewing marbles. Okay, not I'm not gonna. True. I like chewing and that is a pet my peeve of mine properly. that she tried reversing like and, and turning around. I don't like chewing and swallowing my no. food before it's nicely mushy. I don't want to hear your food mashing around in your mouth. So keep your mouth closed when you're eating things. That's one of my pet peeves. Okay, two more. Go. You Second pet peeve: things. she sheds like a wolf in the wild. I have long, luscious locks. And number three. Oh yeah, he has three. Is. She, she's negative 100 when it comes to having respect for a vehicle. <laughs> she doesn't clean the car, ever. If I didn't charge her Tesla and clean it, that thing would look like it was in doomsday and it would be out of battery. Do you guys know each other's coffee order? Matt, you go first. First of all, she doesn't have one particular coffee order at all. She gets the Chugga Munga Chica Wongas. Chugga Chinos. Chugga Chinos all what, the time. With what milk? Uh, oat milk. But it can what only kind of be oat oatly. Thing, yeah. Can't be anything else. She'll ask the people and she'll have them go if they don't know <laughs> to check their fridge and tell her every single flavor and no, say brand name oatly. of oat milk. And then when they come out, she's like, oh, you don't have that? Okay, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> and we leave. Matt just likes, he doesn't like coffee because coffee if he makes does. Me trip out. Yeah, if he does, he has anxiety and he'll call me and be like, babe, oh my God. <laughs> I can't breathe. I don't get anxiety. There's obviously times where you're anxious about certain things, but no, it's not was... too overwhelming for me. Yeah. But if I drink coffee... You can't drink coffee. I don't know I mean, he'll drink is. an espresso when I make it in the morning with a little But only if I have, like, workout or something very, like, exhausting to do. Yeah. Who's the messiest? Oh. You are. I'm the messiest. Uh, between us two. All right. I'm let's a just OCD let me just. Person. Yeah, you're pretty OCD, but let's what go to two places. <laughs> my gym. You can't compare and your my gym garage, garage and your garage two... to our bedroom where you throw your clothes on the floor. I literally have to pick up your underwear from the ground. Do you pick up my underwear? Yes. Let's not, let's not tell the people who actually takes care of all of our things. Because <laughs> it's neither of us. <laughs> neither of us pick up after each other. Her mom is a saint. She helps us try. Yeah, she does. Are you guys getting married anytime soon? So we are going to get married eventually. Uh, we don't when? have the traditional style as yeah, getting married and having a kid. We had a kid first. I think that is okay. We both love each other very much. Um, and we just knew that we were going to spend the rest of our lives with each other. So whenever we found out we were pregnant, I didn't really have a question about it. 
like I knew that we were capable, we were financially well off enough to support for the child. Okay, but like we when had a great do you support think system to help us? I can't say that. All right. I have plans. Let's just say that. What's the most difficult thing with Nova? Sleep at night time. At night time, I think. But she again, we have so difficult. much help from my mom and your mom that like we we have a system. My mom and her mom have come into town quite often to my stay mom's with us. Been here for a while. Yeah, mom's been here for a couple months. She's um, currently inside. And we rotate her. nights. Yeah, when I we brought her home, we took her every night for the first probably I'd say month, and that was complete hell. Yeah. Like we were waking up three, four times a night, getting maybe Being two delirious. hours. Being delirious. Two hours of sleep. He did. He farted the other night. I was so delirious that it sounded like. And I was like, I was mid sleep and I was like, I got up and I was feeding the baby and I farted and it was one of those ones that's like, Psst. and she woke up out of bed and was like, what, babe? I was like, I woke up like startled. I was like, what? I was crying. I was crying. I thought you couldn't say anything because the baby was sleeping. No, the baby sleeping. was sleeping. So, so you're like, Psst. Who yeah. said I love you first? You did. I did. It was really hilarious. He said, I love you while we were on a hike. And, and then I panicked. And, then and I, I was like, no, no, he's like, I Listen, love you. Listen, I meant to say it, but I didn't mean to say it at that moment. But what happened was, we were walking, we went on a hike at Point Doom in Malibu. Yeah. And I told her, I was like, oh, I love you. I just, I just yeah. said it, and I was like, and she didn't say anything back. It was really <laughs> awkward for like three seconds. And I go, like, I love Joseph. You know, like I love you, like I love my best friend. And she's like, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> and then we just awkwardly walked to the bottom of the mountain. Like, I really, like, I really like you too. When did you come around and say it? I, I think, think we I... were like lying down or something. Yeah. I didn't think it was that awkward. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. This is Alexia underscore Gabrielle underscore. When you reached a low point, what did you always remind yourself? I mean, I think just finding an outlet, like for me, it was like writing and like music and stuff. So it's just like finding an outlet to be creative. I've had a lot of lows these past two years I got hit by a car that really messed a lot of things up for me but I took away some really great things one of those is my beautiful wife and my beautiful child uh, so like there's light at the end of every tunnel but um, losing my dad was another thing that was really like traumatizing but at the bottom of it At the bottom of it, you just have to know that there's tomorrow and things will get better over time. And there's other people that care about you. There's other things that you should do that will make you happy. And you just fight through those, you know? You just continue on and on. At Moschino Euro asks, what is the one thing you wish you both knew about motherhood and fatherhood? Nothing. Yeah, I feel like I like learning as we go. Yeah, I mean, we, we studied before. We watched and read a lot of different things. Um, we talked like to each our parents. Day we kind of like learned something new. Yeah, we talked to our parents. We talked to other people that had children and kind of just like compiled all of that knowledge into being first time parents and knowing that like if our parents did it and we turned out okay, like yeah. we could do the same thing. I got one from Teneva underscore underscore. What are your favorite kind of date nights? My favorite are... How about you say my favorite and I'll say your favorite? Um, I don't know, going to the racetrack. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. Yeah, if like we that. had a professional thing set up to where like... Yeah, sure. I had all the race cars come out from my shop. We got her full gear, suited her up with the yeah, helmet like and she looked so sexy on the racetrack and she could use it for content. She would absolutely love that date night. I'll set up a little picnic table in the middle of the racetrack, have candles lit, people can drift around us and we'll eat our food. <laughs> drift around us. She or would you, love that, like but a, it would need to be like high a, end. You would like a or, bike, mountain bike. Thing. Or a mountain biking, camping trip. I like camping a lot, setting up a tent. Also, I think that our date nights sound really interesting. Yeah, but they don't mean And then well. we're just like, we're tired from the baby. <laughs> yeah, movie. let's just get Uber Eats. <laughs> but hers is like a random sunset or a beautiful like lit dinner under lights and a really chic and photogenic place. Not that you need the photos, but you like it to be very no, Yeah, I like it to be like a, a vibe. Yeah, but she's very I, vibey. I, my favorite would be... Under the stars? Yes, thank you. We did that in post and I loved it. 
At our at our old house, we used to be able to get up on the roof and we would go up and lay yeah, on the roof I like that. and look at the stars. Like one of the first nights we met, it was I, the first night. Was it the first night? Yeah, you we had your sat car under the stars and I opened my sunroof. And he put country music. He acted like he was super romantic. My favorite thing and about him was that we were like creating. Like my favorite thing about her is she was super confident. She drove this Toyota red Toyota Yaris with missing hubcaps. I drew my. And when you start it, it would go. And she pulled away, waving. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that girl is See confident. See you tomorrow! Like, just like that. And I was like, I like that. I like that. If the Nova were a boy, what would the name be? If Noah. Nova was a boy? Noah. Yeah, he wanted to do Noah. I wanted to name him Noah Noska. Yeah, I really love is- the I love the uh, the movie Notebook, and I like char- uh, Noah's character. I believe Noah is a biblical name, and I think that uh, I would I like Noah. It really goes well with Noah Noska. Why are your boobs getting smaller? Because <laughs> she's losing the milk. Are they getting smaller? Babe, you look incredible. <laughs> Will Anana add baby clothes to our vices line? Yes. Oh, yes. Baby clothes that are coming. She's working the on them and they're thing. sick. Stay tuned for those. Cause... I like family because I like matching with her. Yeah, she likes matching so with cute. everyone. God forbid I miss a family photo shoot and don't wear the same shoes. <laughs> Do you both miss your cast members on Star for Matthew and After for Nana? Yeah. Yeah. I love. I just miss I working miss being, in general. Yeah, like I miss being on set with people and just like talking to other people besides just me and Matt. Um, how much kids do you want? From Lily Pick Three One One. Um. I want like five. Yeah, five is a good number. Six. Five no, or six. six is a bit much. I would say four or five. Depends. But I like, would probably do surrogacy for the last two. Like I would probably have two on my own. She doesn't want to ruin her body. I would probably have one more, like maybe five years from now or something. Five? No, 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 no. Anyways, I'm two. Not, two. Two or three years from now. No, at least three, four. Yeah, until she says, I get my she says that now. Until I get my Oscar, then I'll have You're it. You're going to get your Oscar whether or not you have a baby now. Yeah, but today. like, I'll get an Oscar, then boom, baby time. Oh, that's like a whole today. journey. A lot of hard work. Yeah, let's just a say consistency, of, hard work, and just... A lot of tears, a lot of blood, a lot of... Uh, I and when I say blood, sweat, and tears, I really mean that, truly. And I think <laughs> it has Like, that's a, a fully, like, my life. I think for me, it's definitely um, believing in myself, even when people, like, kind of didn't. And just having a, I think also having a vision for yourself and going after it. Listen to your gut, always. Okay, anyways. It's like, anytime I start talking, you talk over me. Go ahead, go ahead, answer the question. I just said listen to your gut. What was yours? I don't know, I don't remember anymore. (laughs) You said anytime you have a vision. Yeah, but you cut me off, so, so I don't know, like, it's hard for me to make up my idea. <laughs> is it it's weird? It's hard for me to formulate my answer. Is like it weird kind of seeing each other kiss what? another person on set, like on a, on a roll? What do you mean? All right, guys. I hope you guys liked our Q&A. Um, Thanks for watching. If you want to ask any more questions, maybe what do we'll they do, do it. Maybe like, we'll... subscribe, and comment maybe in we'll... the video below. I didn't finish. Maybe Ow, we'll do another... what the hell was that? I know, I Oh, what was that? We might do another Q and A if you guys want to ask more questions. If this hits a million views, we will do another. If this gets a million views, we'll get another Q and A. Luke knows the drills. Whoa! Like, subscribe, and comment below.